Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I am going to give you some ideas on how you can teach kids to add on or to count on when they are adding. It's um, an important skill because it teaches kids to be a little bit faster with their adding. It gives them a, a trick to use, per se, when they're adding, and so um, their facts will become more um, quick. So um, let me show you kind of how I do it first. Um, one way you can do it is with flashcards. So let's say we're doing these flashcards. This one says six plus four. And what I would do is I would use this along with um, this number um, abacus here. And so... Um, if I already have six, I tell the kids, just say the bigger number first. So I already have six, I'm gonna add on four more. So six plus four more. I'm just gonna count four more. So on the abacus, I just have them count four more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So six plus four equals ten. Okay, so then we would just, oops keep going. So eight, we're going to count one more. That one's easy. So eight, one more would be, so we already have eight. So tell the kids, say eight, nine. Okay. So that's one way to do it is to have them say the number out loud, the first number, and then they would count on the next so many numbers. All right, let me show you another way I would do it. So I have these little puzzles here, and these are counting on puzzles. So I, let me show you how I would do it. Okay, so I laid out three of the puzzles here and mixed them up. And these puzzles are made specially for teaching kids to count on. So here on this puzzle, they can say the number three, and then they would count on four, five, six. And then they would look down here, find the six, and match up their puzzle. Now, another way to do it, to help them be a little bit more tactile and actually see how they're counting on, is to use some sort of object. Right here I have magnetic um, pom-poms, but you could use anything you want. And so for this one, we already have the number here, so tell them to say three, and then the next number, because we're just adding one more, is four. Well, instead of just touching it with their finger, they could use an object. So they could say three and then put the object on there, four. And then they look down here and they would find their match. And then with this one, the same thing. So they're going to say seven. They're not going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to say it because we already know we have seven already. So seven, eight, nine. The objects just make it a little bit more tactile. So now I know I have nine, so I'm gonna match up my puzzle. Okay, so that's another way. By the way, you can get these puzzles off my website. I'll leave the link below. All right, now another way I would do it is with a hundred chart. If you have a chart where the numbers go all the way up to a hundred, you can do this easily. So depending on what your problem is, so let's say, let's look at these flashcards that I had again. Let's say we're doing um, let's get a good one. Mm, this one. All right, let's say we're doing six plus three. So you tell the child, find six on your chart, because we already know we have six. So they're going to find six. Then we're just going to count three more. Seven, eight, nine. So my answer is nine. I already know I have six. Count three more. So you can use a chart, which is a lot of fun. Okay, and let me show you another way. Okay, so my last way I have here is if you have number magnets or any kind of just numbers, um, I have a cookie sheet here so these magnets stick. And what you could do is you could put a magnet down and you can say, okay, we're going to add two plus this many. So use some objects. How much does that make? So they already know they have two, so they say two, three, four, five. They count on. So they're not going to count the two because we already know we have two. Two, three, four, five. So two plus three equals five. Okay, you could do it again with a different magnet. Let's say we're going to add six plus 
2. Okay, we're going to add 6 plus 2. So they say 6, 7, 8. 8. 6 plus 2 equals 8. All right, there you have it. Those are my different ways for teaching kids to add on or count on, I should say, when they are adding. I hope this was helpful for you. Hope this gives you a couple of fun ideas. Again, if you're interested in these puzzles, they're down below. I'll leave the link. Um, and you can get all of my uh, activity downloads in one big link. I have a couple of different um, bundles for different grade levels. So check that out below too. And I'd love it if you'd follow me on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Bye.